Hey guys, how's it going? This is Gerald with Real Estate Investing Tips for Beginners. So what I want to do is I want to talk about tax delinquent property investing. Probably about, I want to say about three years ago, something like that. I went ahead and put out a video that was extremely popular, right? And actually, I'll go ahead and I'll put that video in the description. And it was talking about delinquent property tax investing. And essentially what that is, is you're going out and you're finding individuals that have fallen behind on property taxes, but they haven't fallen so far behind that the property ends up in tax foreclosure, tax lien or tax deed foreclosure. You're looking for opportunities. You're looking for people who have fallen behind, but not that far behind, right? And so you wanna focus on houses, you wanna focus on vacant land in the beginning, right? So you can do houses, vacant land. If you choose to, you can do small apartments. When I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give you a game plan as to how to go about and to get a quick win, to put some money in your pocket, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on highly motivated sellers. So number one, you are going to obtain a list of uh, properties that are behind on taxes. Now, you can go ahead and get that list from your local county, okay? You can go ahead and get that list from, um, let's, so let me go ahead and name a site, right? Um, Real, Crest, Real Quest Pro. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna drop that link in the description. Okay, so what you're looking for, essentially, is you're looking for properties that are delinquent on taxes, okay? Like I said, you can get that from the local county, you can go ahead and get that from RealQuest uh, or RealQuest Pro. Um, and what you, what you wanna do when you're researching uh, these properties is number one, you wanna focus on delinquent property taxes, number two, and this is a little tricky, right? You wanna focus something called stacking a list. What do I mean by that? So. You want to focus on properties that have heightened problems. So if you're focused on properties that are number one, delinquent on taxes, and then number two, in an HOA. I want you all to go ahead and Google HOA foreclosure. That's right. HOAs are some of the most stressful situations for property owners to be in, especially if it's vacant land. Remember, those of you that are out there, many of you that are targeting wholesaling, right? You're focused on initial wholesaling. That's where you go ahead, you find a property, you get the property and the contract, you turn around, you sign that contract to a cash buyer, you close the deal, have a nice day. If you are focusing on wholesaling, some of your highest motivated sellers are individuals that have vacant land that are behind on taxes, in an HOA. Now, this is the tricky part, okay? You're gonna have to do your due diligence. And so, when you find somebody that is behind on taxes, that's stuck in an HOA, that owns a piece of vacant land, you need to take the time to go ahead, number one, you need to do your due diligence, research the property. What would be the value of that, that particular piece of property, whether that's a land parcel or a house? For this conversation here, I'm gonna go ahead and say a vacant piece of land. So what you wanna do is do your due diligence. You wanna focus on what the value of that land is going to be, right? You can go ahead and utilize free services, right? I would go ahead and say, uh, I use one site uh, that is called uh, Parcel Fact. I also use, Google, uh, uh, I put the information into Google. I'll use Zillow and I'm testing out another site. It's it's uh, it, it's a site that basically um, helps you to determine the value of vacant land. But you know the 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 jury is still out on that site right now because I'm still playing with some things. But I use Parcel Fact. I utilize um, Zillow, Redfin, um, a couple of other sites, Land Watch, just to kind of gauge value of that land parcel. I then go ahead and go to the local county and I'll pull up property information on that particular lot to see what's behind, to see how much that property is behind on taxes. 
And then what I do is go ahead, I research the property to make sure it's in an HOA. Once it's in an HOA, I go ahead and contact the HOA to see what the process is. Let them know, I'm just upfront and honest. Let them know that I'm an investor, that I plan on obtaining this property. Um, and then what they'll do, and when you go ahead and you ask them, uh, what is their process uh, for selling, right? Every HOA is different. Now, you don't want to get stuck with a land parcel, okay? Trust me on that. I've been there too, right? <laughs> you don't want to get stuck with a land parcel. And so what you want to do is to go ahead and focus on properties that essentially present a lot of equity. You'd be shocked at some of these um uh, private communities that have vacant land where people own this land and that land has been sitting there for 10, 15, 20 years and they're still paying the HOA and they've gotten to a point where they've fallen behind on taxes. And so essentially what I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging you all to do is to find these challenging type of properties. The reason being is this, there are people out there that are willing to give you the property, okay? However, you just have to understand once you obtain that property, you're going to have to, while I'm, while you're doing this, you're going to have to build a list of buyers, a list of cash buyers. You can do that with Craigslist. You can do that with Facebook groups, right? You can do that utilizing an investor carrot website. I'll have that in the description. The beauty about the investor carrot website is not only will when you have a, a, a vacant land investor carrot website not only can you attract people who are looking to buy land but through the process and through the questions of an investor carrot website you could begin to attract private lenders what do i mean by that so these are individuals that as you talk to them and develop relationships with them you could begin to develop uh, uh people that will let you that will lend you money so that you can go ahead and begin to invest in real estate you'd be shocked that's why i encourage people to go ahead and to obtain those sites it's more than just a website right it's it helps you to build your business at the same time guys so focus on delinquent property taxes if you all want to go ahead and know the process, I'm going to have a link to that video as well as some additional videos in the description. If you want to know more about that, also focus on properties that are delinquent in taxes and inside an HOA. There are properties out there. <laughs> now, when I go ahead and I talk about HOA foreclosure and whatnot, or HOAs themselves, a lot of people are like, I live in an HOA, right? Target those properties, okay? Look them up. Now, a better way to go about doing this, to be honest with you, is to pull up a list, right? You can go ahead and get a list um, from a lot of different places. I'm going to be honest. I go ahead. I just order something on Fiverr or Upwork. I give them my specifics. They give me a list back. I'll go ahead and I'll shoot out. Let's say this last time I shot out like a, a thousand mailers, which is not a huge amount, you want to start hitting maybe two to 5,000 mailers, but end up getting three deals back. So it was because of my pricing, you know, I'm not as well pro about pricing and whatnot. So focusing on land lots in premium areas that are behind on taxes, as well as inside of HOAs can get you all some quick wins, right? So that you can begin to uh, flourish in your real estate investing businesses, whether you want to focus on small apartments, you want to focus on houses, or you want to continue to focus on land. Okay, so this is Gerald. If y'all found value in this video, please click the like button. Also share it with family and friends. I'm going to have multiple resources in the description, guys. Also, think about subscribing to the channel. You all have a good day. Take care. Bye.